going to learn about translating expression and equation into letters or symbols and vice versa. And for our objectives for this morning, first, we're going to identify words, phrases, and symbols used in different mathematical operations. Second, translate real-life expressions and equations to letters and symbols. And lastly, appreciate the use of expressions and equations in real-life situations by using them in communication. Now let us try it how much you already know about our topic for today. Let us answer the following questions. Number one, how is the expression 12 decreased by 4 translated into symbols? A. 4 minus 12 B. 4 divided by 12 C. 12 minus 4 or D. 12 divided by 4 Yes, the correct answer is letter C, 12 minus 4. Number 2, the following phrases indicate what mathematical operation times, twice, multiplied by the product of A. Addition B. Subtraction C. Multiplication or D. Division Yes, the correct answer is letter C, multiplication. Number 3, the product of 8 and 5 decreased by 6 is translated as block A, 6 minus quantity 8 times 5, B, quantity 8 times 5 minus 6. C, quantity 8 times 6 minus 5 or D, quantity 5 times 6 minus 8 Yes, the correct answer is letter B quantity 8 times 5 minus 6 For question number 4 which among these words or phrases indicate the operation subtraction? A. Minus. Difference. Take away. B. Times. Twice. Multiplied by. C. Added to. The total of. More than. Or D. The quotient. Shared with. Divided by. Yes, the correct answer is letter A, minus, difference, take away. Last question. Bong shared his 12 apples to four of his friends. What is the correct mathematical expression for this statement? A, 12 times 4. B, 12 divided by 4. C, 12 plus 4 or D, 12 minus 4. Yes, the correct answer is letter B, 12 divided by 4. Let's look back at your lesson. Before delving into a whole new topic, let us have a short review of our past lesson. Recall your learning of the differences between expression and equation. Read and answer correctly the following questions. For items 1 and 2, refer to these two choices. A. Expression B. Equation Question number 1. What refers to the combination of numbers and variables joined by operation symbols? Yes, the correct answer 
is letter A, expression. Number two, the example inside the box is considered blank. It's 5n plus 2 is equals to 22. Yes, the correct answer is letter B. That is an example of equation. Question number three, which does not belong to the group? A. 12x plus 10 B. 8 minus 4y is equal to 0 C. 12n divided by 8 D. 5s times 14 Yes, the correct answer is letter B. It is 8 minus 4y is equal to 0 because choice letter A, C, and D are example of expression, while letter B is an example of equation. Expressions and equations can be seen and be applied to different situations only if you can properly be able to translate them into words and symbols or vice versa. As you translate real-life verbal expressions and equations into letters and symbols or vice versa, it is important that you know the different words or phrases used in the four mathematical operations. Below are the list of words and phrases used for every operation. For addition, these are the words associated with addition. Plus, added to, the sum of, the total of, more than, greater than, and increased by. So again, these are the words associated with addition. How about for subtraction? We have minus difference less than take away subtracted from diminished by decreased by. So again, these are the words associated with subtraction. Words associated with multiplication are times, twice, triple, multiplied by the product of. These are the words that pertain to division. Divided by the quotient of pair shared with equally shared. So again, those are the words associated with division. Now let's study the following examples. Example number one. The sum of 28 and 14 is equal to 42. It is important that you identify first essential details or keywords like the highlighted ones. This will help you decide about the operation to be used, the numbers to be solved, and the placement of each number in an expression or equation. So the highlighted words are we have 28, sum, 14, equal 42. Now let's translate these following words into numbers. We have first 28, sum, which means addition, 14, equal to 
42. So how are we going to write that one? That is 28 plus 14 is equal to 42. Well, let's proceed to example number 2. 5 times 4 increased by 3 is 23. So again, it is important that you identify first essential details or keywords like the highlighted ones. This will help you decide about the operation to be used, the numbers to be solved, and the placement of each number in an expression or equation. So the following highlighted words are, we have 5 times 4 increased 3 is 23. So let us translate each word into numbers. So we have 5 times 4 increase, which means addition, 3 is which pertains to equal to, that is 23. So therefore, to translate this, into equation, we have 5 times 4 plus 3 is equal to 23. Now, let's proceed to our example number 3. We have quantity 4 times 3 minus 6 is equal to 6. In this case, we will look at the structure of the given equation. Look how many operations are used. There are two operations, multiplication and addition. So, remember the Jandas rule. So, by using the Jandas rule, you should create the grouping or the G with the first operation, which is multiplication or M, followed by the subtraction or to be S. So, again, in this case, we're going to translate numbers into phrase. So we have the product of the product of 4 and 3 decreased by 6 is equal to 6. I hope you have understand our lesson. So now let's check your understanding. Or let's answer first the activity. Translate the following expressions in symbols. For example, 10 subtracted from 15. So, if it's at the end, we have 15 as our minimum minus 10 as our subtrahend because of the word from. So, for number one, we have 27 decreased by 5. So the answer is 27 minus 5. Number 2, 8 less than the product of 9 and 2. The answer is quantity 9 times 2 minus 8. Number 3, 3 subtracted from the quotient of 18 and 6. Answer, quantity 18 divided by 6 minus 3. And number 4, 75 added to 40. So that is 40 plus 75. Number 5, 11 times 9. So simple. 11 times 9. So let's remember to translate real life verbal expressions and equation into letters or symbols. Have a clear understanding of words and phrases used in the four fundamental operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, this time, Let's check your understanding. 
Read and analyze each item. Answer correctly the following statements. I will give you three minutes to answer this one. Now if you are done, here are the correct answers. Are your answers correct? If yes, then congratulations! It means that you have learned something today. So that's all for today. Again, this is Sir James, your virtual teacher. See you again next time in our next video tutorials. Thank you. Bye-bye.